So I have some pretty exciting news that I need to tell my subscribers. I have been getting tired of social media platforms and their very vague rules and the censorship. Even here on YouTube, there are very dry channels without any personal opinions and they're being taken down for whatever reason. And even though this channel is just electrical instruction, I am pretty scared by that. I'm going to continue posting on YouTube and we have lots of videos to come, but what I want to announce is I have a message board now and it's gonna be free. There's not gonna be any stupid ads on it. There's not gonna be any corporate sponsorship. I'm not selling the data to third parties and I'm paying for it completely out of pocket. I will be accepting donations and I have Amazon affiliate links for people that wanna support it. But I think considering how much good it can do for the world, we absolutely need it. Because right now there are lots of solar power Facebook groups, but I do not like Facebook personally. So I want to avoid them entirely. The only reason I have a Facebook is just to check those solar power forms. And I do not want to do that anymore. I also despise the YouTube community section because whenever I respond to someone, and if somebody thinks that I'm wrong, they can't respond back. And I understand the layout and why they're doing that, but I just do not like it. So I am building my own platform and I love it. I mean, we can do whatever we want now. The rules are pretty straightforward and basic. It's don't be mean to people, don't be stupid. If you say something, you need to reference some form of source and substantiate your claim with evidence. And so far, people really like this message board. We have like over 700 members within the first 24 hours. We have like 35,000 page views and I had to actually increase the amount for hosting when I first started it It was only $50 a month and I was like fine This is good and then everybody flooded in and I noticed that a lot of forums are cheapskates And they do not pay for the higher bandwidth packages and people can't post photos and then over time they lose money and so they take the photos down. But I really want this to be a strong platform. So we have top-notch servers. We also have SSL security. And if you guys have seen any of my other websites, you know how much I hate advertisements. The only advertising you'll ever see me do is affiliate links for products that I've tested for years. Everything else just drives me crazy. And personally, it might be because of my generation. I've never clicked on an advertisement, like on a banner ad. I've never seen anything intriguing enough to click on it. And it's just annoying. There's no good content. So if there were good ads, I would probably click on them, but they're so far and few. And I just hate those Google ads also. So yeah, I'm not gonna have anything of that nature on there. Also, I'm gonna be doing grid tie and off grid system videos soon, but I've been moving into my new house and it's been taking a lot of effort. Uh, assembling furniture, organizing all of my tools. Yeah, just the logistics of creating my video studio can take some time. Also with grid tie systems, I am educating myself. I'm also educating myself more in circuit design. I did a lot of these things in college and when I was younger, but I really want to be up to what the National Electric Code states and also safety and fire codes because these all pertain to grid tie solar. And I actually have some really cool information that I want to tell you, but I'm in the outline stages of those videos. I'm just writing down each topic and what I need to cover. So those videos are coming soon, but it's it's just taking a lot of effort. I keep seeing YouTubers, even this week, they are posting systems that break laws. If you are watching a YouTuber and they are in California and they are using non-UL listed power inverters for grid tie application, they can wind up in jail or have fines. Like these are really bad violations and there are lots of YouTubers doing it. I don't want to point out any names, but if you just put in grid tie, inverter, lower my bill, you will find a whole list of them. And I do not want to be like those guys. It's ridiculous how many people are breaking the law. These safety codes are there for a reason. Also with cost savings with grid tie systems, I have so much to say. I have learned so much, but yeah, those videos are coming as well. So I actually have solar coming for this house right now and I actually found an installer that is gonna do it for like half or one third the price of most of the other quotes. But I am compiling all the quotes that I got and I wanna show you guys step by step what the total cost is with financing or for leasing in some options and how badly people get ripped off. And some people, there were Las Vegas solar installers commenting on my last video, they are like, 
you don't understand the cost of a business. Actually, it costs lots of money to do this. And I was like, no, it doesn't. Those solar panels are cheap. You have a couple administrative costs. And why is it that this guy over here has the same exact system with the same inverter, the same safety code regulations, everything's UL listed, and it's one third the price. So I don't want to hear that. So yeah, we're going to make a whole video about the total cost of these systems and how to shop around because you can get very cheap grid tie systems, but you need to know what to look for and what to ask and you need to crank out the numbers on your own. So yeah, that's going to be another video, but yeah, stay tuned for that one. Also, I've been getting 70 to 100 emails every single day. And the reason I made the message board really was just to direct people to there so that if I answer someone's question, everybody else can see my answer. And if somebody disagrees with me, they can post whatever proof or evidence of stating otherwise that they want. I want a discussion. And I'm also gonna pay for it for a very, very long time. Even if I have to pay for it with just book royalties alone, I think that the cost are justified. Some other stuff I want to mention is I have this boat owner's electrical and mechanical manual and one of the reviewers for my book was like oh no this book is trash. I have like out of 250 reviews I have two one-star reviews and he said no you should get this one. I actually opened it up and the solar section is like two pages and it doesn't tell you anything. So I don't understand what he's saying. And for marine application, there is such great information in here, but it's not very practical for off-grid solar. Another thing I want to mention is this book is great for beginners. If you've never done circuit design or troubleshooting. This has lots of basic concepts that you can understand in plain English. So a really cool book that I wanted to mention. And then there is this one, install your own solar panels. If you're trying to do things to code, I find this is like the only and best resource. I have other books that I study personally from my local library and they tell you way more than this and that's how I've been learning over the years. But this one for beginners that want to install solar on their own house or get another installer to do it and not feel ignorant to the whole process, this is a great way to educate yourself. So yeah, just a couple books I wanted to mention real quick. And also right now I'm building off-grid solar power systems for house backup in sheds. So if you put a shed in your backyard and you put a full solar power system, let's say the grid goes down for me. Um, that shed could power my critical loads like the refrigerator and possibly the air conditioner. And it's a cheap way to do it. You do not need as many permits for sheds. You could actually shove quite a bit of solar power components in a shed with some batteries and then have an array that folds out if the grid were to go down. And I've been designing those systems right now and a problem I'm running into is a lot of the sheds are not waterproof or they fall apart with the wind. Here in Las Vegas, it's also very hot and very windy. And so all of these factors combined make it very difficult for me to design a shed based system. So if you guys have any suggestions on sheds that can withstand the elements, let me know. I'm trying to get away with a cheap one so people have that option. So yeah, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I also made a new section on the message board for shed based systems because they are very useful. I really, I'm a big fan of them. They're really nice. And on some of the message boards I've been following, people have burned their house down by using recycled lithium 18650 cells, and I do not recommend anybody doing that. Pretty much the only batteries that I cover on this channel are non-combustible lithium iron phosphate and sealed lead acid. And that's pretty much it. I like messing around with lithium titanate, but it is completely pointless to use for solar unless you have a very specific application, which we talk about in other videos. Anyways, lots of topics to cover in this video. I'm still getting settled in. I found a scorpion in my house last night and I tried to kill it and it wouldn't die and I was freaking out and I found out it was a poisonous one. It's an Arizona bark or brown bark scorpion. So yeah, that was pretty freaky. I do not like scorpions and I do not like them in my house, but Las Vegas has actually been great. I technically do not live in Las Vegas or in the valley, I'm in the hills and it's beautiful, it's quiet. I can build anything I want here. So I'm really stoked about it, but I just have so many things going on right now. But yeah, just hold tight and new videos are coming. Check out the message board. I think you guys will absolutely love it. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you soon, bye.